Welcome Sagittarius. Okay, so we are going to get a message for you using the postcards from Spirit. Whispers of Healing and Osho Zen Tarot. So let's start with the postcards from Spirit. Okay, one card for Sagittarius please. What do you want to say to Sagittarius? We will um, get the postcard and then we'll go through it, okay, and see what it's all about. And at the end, we'll readdress the postcard again, okay, because I just love how it all works together. Okay, so one card for Sagittarius, please. Thank you. <clears throat> Here's your postcard. Oh, exciting. Okay. Dearest you, we are gathering our magic together to help you celebrate your new beginning. You're stepping into a new version of your life, getting to tell a new story as you create it. Doesn't it feel like spring when the urge to expand wells up inside, from, of, inside you from a primal place? The form of what you are growing has yet to take shape. And it is exciting to experience this new and fresh beginning. It's normal to feel both push and push back when entering any kind of new relationship. It's okay to admit you don't really know what to expect. What you can know is it's time to dive in and allow that new version of life, life to take shape through you, on behalf of your partner in life, spirit. You have made it to a new level of awakening and contributing, and we are so excited to see where this will take you next. We are so proud of you. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool, Sagittarius. Okay, so let's look further into this. New relationship, huh? well done okay and please if you are not entering a new relationship still apply it to your life as as it fits whatever new beginning that you're having okay i might refer to it as a new relationship throughout the reading if it, i feel called to um but it could work any which way um it does in your life so yeah just have an open mind. Okay, so first card for Sagittarius, please. There it is. Answers within. Answers within. This is it, Sagittarius. I think sometimes we are always looking externally for answers and always believing it's outside of ourselves when we are actually the... Um, we're the wise one. We're the wise one who can go deep within for the answers that we seek. Okay. Um, we are also the one who can lead the way. Um, we, I think, I think the problem is that sometimes we can lose faith in ourselves because of maybe choices that we've made in the past that haven't worked out so well. Or, um, You know, maybe there's been things that we haven't seen as the best choice that we've made. But if you really look back, Sagittarius, you'll find that we, there were still things to be learned about whatever that choice was. So it's really important for you to understand there is no wrong or bad choice, okay? Now, the card has just gone flitting over the room, <laughs> across the room, but let me see if I can get this second card out before I go and pick it up. Okay, excellent. Okay, so this is um, consciousness, okay? It, it's Sagittarius. This is really representing this new beginning, um, and this new beginning could be a new relationship with yourself even. It could be the beginning of a new relationship with consciousness, with spirit, 
whatever, okay? Um, I really feel like, too, that because I feel as though some of you feel like maybe you're not ready and you still have maybe more work to do or more healing to do or whatever. Sometimes we need to come together in a loving environment in order to heal more because um, it, it's sort of this relational healing, you know, that um, when, when you need to heal a relationship, it's important to be in a relationship in order to heal doesn't yeah I'm not sure if that came out right but um it doesn't always mean that you go back to a relationship which was not serving you okay um and yes it's important for you to do a certain amount of work on yourself before entering into a new relationship if you're with the I don't want to say right person but I will say right person. If you're with the right, sorry, if you're with a person who is understanding, who is doing work on themselves as well, you're going to be able to express what it is that you need. I feel like this is about you also becoming conscious of what you need and voicing that and expressing it, okay? Really coming out and saying your truth, okay? Pulling on that truth within you and living from that place. Okay, um, we also have abundance here. Oh, I love this. I think it's really important for you to understand that life is abundant and the only limitations that we believe exist are in our mind. And this becoming conscious of this is going to open you up to receiving more than you could ever dream of okay i love this i love this for you sagittarius this is such a positive exciting energy great okay next card for sagittarius please and and i suppose with this abundance here too um, this is about conscious creating and um, did that, oh no, that was that one. And, and just making sure that you are aware of what it is that you're putting out there. Okay, and um, yeah, because I feel as though you you are needing to tap into that more to be honest we have modify that has come up here so i just wonder with this here if there's sorry sagittarius i'm just seeing what comes out here I feel like this is talking about this restriction again because I feel what I'm seeing here is reaching up to heights that you you believed were impossible um that you felt like you could only dream on you know and um and I actually feel as though there's something about follow a rainbow because I'm seeing rainbows here and um there's yeah there's something about that it's like the the rainbow will lead you. I don't know what that means, but that might make sense to some of you. Oh, there we go. Look, it's going all over the shop. <laughs> um, but the first card out is going with the flow. This is another new beginning, a new beginning in love, a new beginning in something passionate. You know, this is, I feel like this um, new beginning is reflecting the truth of who you are and it's reflecting also the work that you have done, okay, and the healing that you've done. And, and I, I am just like, there's this, this sense of peace around this, a sense of calmness, and it is absolutely beautiful. Let me go and get this card. Yeah, see, we have the undelusion here. This is this is more than you could have ever dreamed of. And um, 
I, I do feel like it is crucial for you to be aware of your fears, be aware of, um, you know, where that's coming from and why it's there. Communicate that, right? Okay, um, intention. Yep, look, <clears throat> it's important for you to set your intention to, to receive what it is there for you. Okay, um, even if you are scared, you know, I think I think the crucial thing here for you, Sagittarius, is to communicate. Communicate to your partner or whoever it is, whatever your circumstance and those involved in it, communicate, okay? Also, connect with spirit and communicate with them. Connect with yourself. Okay, start journaling these things. Start looking at the fears because, you know, sometimes often things can become clearer when we voice them rather than letting them, you know, go around and around in our mind. And I think journaling things also allows you to get out what is going on in your head. So these are important things I think for you to do. And you know, set the intention of of really go into this um dream of what it is that you would love to create in this new beginning here. And and set the intention that you expect nothing less. Because at the end of the day, it's truly what you deserve. And I honestly feel like when you set the intention that yes, this is what I deserve and true and honestly believe that it you open yourself up to receive that. Okay, courage here. Have the courage to do that. Know that you can still reach the heights that you can reach regardless of um of where you started from. It doesn't matter. I mean, that's not the right way to put it. This is not to minimize it. But whatever has gone on for you, whatever your upbringing was, whatever wasn't working right for you, um, whatever relationships went bad, whatever business went bad, whatever friendship went bad, <clears throat> honestly, Sagittarius, you still can, can grow into the light if you set that intention that it is what you want to do, okay, um, and, and really surrendering and letting go of all those doubts, okay, um, and yeah, I don't want to say that the doubts aren't um, a crucial part because they are a part of you, but it's... Um, it's probably more acknowledging those and seeing them and giving them a voice so that they can dissipate, okay? And flowering, yeah, see, we've got these two cards here. You know, growing up to flower, when you allow yourself to grow and grow into the light and have the intention that I'm, I'm gonna, I've gotten through what I've gotten through and I deserve this. I deserve nothing less, you know? I feel like this is the thing. You feel like there's, you know, you have this dream of what you want and you want to aim towards that. And then when it's in front of you, there's this doubt that you deserve that. Um, and yeah, I, I think that needs to be really looked at. And, you know, because it's one thing dreaming it, but then when it's there in real life, it's a whole nother ball game. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat's going all weird now. Yeah, it's a whole nother ball game. And I feel like you are needing to really open up a hundred percent to 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 truly believing that you deserve the very best. And it's sort of like I feel like, Sagittarius, this is something you may need to repeat to yourself over and over and over. I deserve only the best. I deserve all that is coming to me. You know, I deserve, you know, whatever intention that it is you are setting um, or whatever dream it is that you have, that you deserve that, that you're worthy of it, that you are enough to receive it. You are enough for it to come to you okay 
so next card for Sagittarius please and I, I do feel like this is about you sort of waking up to the truth of who you are and um, and understanding that you really shouldn't settle for anything less than what you what you dream of okay well-being yeah um i feel like this new beginning may be a little bit unnerving for some of you actually um because of these fears um there's this sense of not wanting to stuff it up um, and so it sort of prevents you from like stepping into it just in case what if it all goes wrong and what if I you know muck it up but the fact of the matter is that you can't because it's meant for you this is this is absolutely 100% part of your journey right we've got traveling here this is part of your path you know, and, and the fact of the matter is, Sagittarius, you've walked the hard yards. Some of you may even still be walking those hard yards. You know, you're traveling, you've been traveling along <coughs> a path, you know, alone. And, and granted, there may be other people with you, but ultimately, it's, it's what I mean by that, it's this path that has required you to grow in a certain way and evolve in a certain way in order to complete that journey okay and it's time now it is time you've traveled as far as you can travel and now it's time it's like <clears throat> yeah you're still walking along the path but now it's time to add this new I want to say, add this new spice into your life. You know, it's okay to add a, add a travel companion. You know, it's it's okay to do that. You don't need to continue this path alone. Okay? And, yeah, it is time. Because this is the part of the journey where you, you get to actually reap what you've sown. You know, you've done so much work. And um, yeah, like why wouldn't you? Why you know it's sort of like planting an orchard full of apples, and then when the apples are ready to be harvested, you turn around and walk away and not actually harvest what it is that you've grown. And I feel like this is because there's fear. It's sort of like, well, what if no one likes them, or what if no one wants to buy them? Oh, so I'll just go over here and I'll grow some oranges. I'll start again, you know. And it's like, no, give yourself what you deserve. Give yourself the pleasure of receiving what it is that you've grown, that you've worked so hard to grow. Okay, so what's this one? Strength, yeah, yep, 100%. You've got heaps of strength, Sagittarius, from this path that you've travelled. You've got heaps of strength, right? So draw on it. Draw on it to give yourself what it is that you have worked towards. This is the thing. It's really funny. It's a funny energy because it is that thing of like working towards something and then not wanting to receive it because it's like, holy, I'm not, you know, it's, it's kind of like you become so familiar to working towards the thing that when you actually get the thing, it's like, oh, no, I'm used to working towards it. I'm not actually ready to receive it. Um, it's a bit like someone who, say, studies for a diploma or um, some sort of qualification and they get so used to being the student when they actually come to um, graduating, it's scary. They're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm good being the student, thanks. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, draw on that strength to help lift you. To the heights that you are ready to fly to okay so strengths tell me more about strength for Sagittarius please these cards are almost flipping out we've got one here what's this the master 
Yes. Oh, I love that this has come out. This is a new beginning of you stepping out as a whole new person. I feel like the, the, the fear in you is because of how maybe the person you were before and um, you're no longer that person anymore, Sagittarius. You are, you've grown so much. There's no way you could ever be the same. Um, but there's, I, I think there's, there's fear in you. But I'm just looking here, honestly, this new beginning is absolutely oh, it's 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 beyond a new beginning per se it's a whole new direction in life and i think the the thing that you need strength for is to embrace it and allow yourself to be carried sometimes you know we can put the walls up and, and test the waters and see if it's okay but I feel like it's okay for you to open up and receive here the healing the healing has been done you've had the strength to do the healing and you know I say it's been done it's been done to a point where you can allow this in yes there's still more healing that needs to be done you know Sagittarius, whenever we've been through a trauma or something massive has happened in our lives that has traumatized us, the healing is always going to be done. You know, it's layers and layers and we'll have a rest from it and there'll be a lull. And, and this is the thing, right, is that we do so much healing as we go along. And then we feel like, yes, we've gotten to a certain stage where we're good now and things settle okay because we have to allow ourselves to absorb what we've learned to um to to let things rest so that we're ready for an, another turn on the path okay and what happens also is that we sort of clear out when we do that that portion of that healing we clear out or a layer of that healing, if you like, we clear out the energy in order for something good to come in. Okay? And because there's been so much for some of you that you have done, this good thing is massive. It's massive. And you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I'm ready for this. You are totally ready. You are more than ready. Have faith in what your achievements have been so that you can receive this okay because um yeah this is going to be incredible if you allow it to be growth yeah see this is also good, crucial to your growth as well um because i love that this is Again, raising to new heights, raising up to new heights here, right? Um, you know, this is the sun behind her. And you've got all these butterflies that have transformed. It's sort of like each butterfly represents a portion of this healing that you've done. And it's all sort of transforming at once. And which is a, an amazing, amazing accomplishment. Pat yourself on the back gosh because yeah this is incredible Sagittarius you have come so so far uh and yeah I, I think I think it's important for you to allow because because this this new beginning is is a little bit like sort of like a reward and even though the universe doesn't really work like that that's almost what it's like it's like yeah you you're now at a place where you can accept the the award of the graduation from what the work that you've done and actually some of you may actually be graduating some of you may have been studying or doing something and, you know, this new relationship could be 
that you are going to step out into the real world with what it is that you've learned, you know. And that could be scary for you. So, yeah. Okay, so tell me more about growth for Sagittarius, please. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. Celebration. Celebrate. Um, yeah, this is, this, it's important for you, Sagittarius, to see where you've come and how far you've come and and honor yourself you know allow yourself to be celebrated allow people to hold you up and go wow look at you you know and also the other thing is that after being through such a journey it's okay to take some time to have some fun to go and jump in the puddles you know look this year, we've got, had this pop up as well. The outsider, okay. For so long, I feel like you have felt like the outsider in the sense of um, having to have done all this work, okay. And um, you've been waiting at this gate. You've been waiting at this gate because you've truly believed that when the gate unlocks is when you'll be able to walk forth on your path. But the fact of the matter, I don't think you realise that you have been walking along the path anyway, okay? And um, and I also see this as the inner child here, okay? It's kind of like for some of you, you've locked away your inner child and um, it's time to now open the gate and allow your inner child to step through, okay? To start really giving that nurturing to the inner child it needs. Not only that, though, Sagittarius, to allow the inner child out to play because the inner child has been locked up for so long that it, you know, you know what it's like Sagittarius when you were young and you just went out and had fun and jumped in the puddles and made mud pies and done all that stuff as a kid, just no worries in the world, you know, and um, yeah, I feel as though... <sighs> You're keeping yourself locked up in a sense. And maybe this has been through this healing that you have done. But it's time to set yourself free. And time to let life love you. Time to let others love you. Time to let others celebrate you. Because you deserve that more than anything in the world. This is what you deserve. Okay. So let's have a look at that postcard from spirit again dearest you we are gathering our magic together to help you celebrate your new beginning you're stepping into a new version of your life getting to tell a new story as you create it doesn't it feel like spring when the urge to expand wells up inside you from a primal place the form of what you are growing has yet to take shape and it is exciting to experience this new and fresh beginning. It's normal to feel both push and push back when entering any kind of new relationship. It's okay to admit you don't really know what to expect. What you can know is it's time to dive in and allow that new version of life to take shape through you on behalf of your partner in life, spirit. You have made it to a new level of awakening and contributing, and we are so excited to see where this will take you next. We are so proud of you. Yes, it's it, honestly, it just has so much more punch at the end. <laughs> um, yeah, and look, you know, tap into spirit. Call on spirit when you're feeling like you're on shaky ground and you're not sure. Um, call on spirit. Come back to this reading and remind yourself. Do that, you know, because that will, will inspire you to keep going and motivate you to keep going so that you remain open to receiving what it is that you truly deserve, Sagittarius. Okay, I will leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.